These are five areas of Asheville you absolutely want to avoid. Hey, welcome to our channel, Living in Asheville, where we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play, and do everything in Asheville, North Carolina. Hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you can be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Okay, number one on the list is West Asheville. If you're looking for peace and solitude and quietness, West Asheville is not gonna be the place for you. This place is hip, I mean hipster, and there's lots of things that are going on. There's lots of noise that are, that's happening all around. There's bands that are playing and glasses being clanked and good times being had. But West Asheville is an area that people walk around from place to place. There's people on the streets doing things. There are restaurants and cafes cafes and lots of action happening. One thing that's also happening in West Asheville and what Asheville is kind of known for sometimes is we have a few weirdos and West Asheville and Haywood Road area is kind of the mecca for those people. And Asheville weirdos is not necessarily a bad thing. We like to keep Asheville weird, but sometimes it can get a little strange over there. So you just kind of watch out a little bit more. And because of all the bars and restaurants and cafes, you can get some people who are having a really good time as well. So you might see some intoxicated people hanging out or some people who might be a little too high. In West Asheville, things happen. So if you're looking for a quiet life, West Asheville probably is not your cup of tea. I would look somewhere else. Number two on the list of places to avoid is Mills River. Mills River is a subdivision of about 7,000 people south of Asheville. And why am I saying to avoid it? A lot of people really like Mills River, but Mills River is the complete opposite of West Asheville. So if you're looking for a liberal art scene or a social mecca where there's a lot going on, probably Mills River is not gonna be your first choice as well. So if you look at the map here, you'll see the red areas and the blue areas of the Asheville area. And Asheville has always been considered a bit of a liberal bubble in a very red state. And you can kind of see where that line starts and ends on this map here. So Mills River, even though it's really close to Asheville, tends to be a little bit more conservative because it's closer to Hendersonville, North Carolina, which is a retirement capital and definitely more conservative. So if you're moving to Asheville and to the area to experience the richness and culture of the liberal bubble that it is, Mills River might not be the place for you. Number three on the list is downtown Asheville. You might not want to live in or near downtown Asheville if, again, you're looking for a kind of a quiet lifestyle. Now, who's downtown Asheville? Mostly tourists. Tourists are coming to Asheville in droves and they are definitely hitting downtown. That's where the restaurants are, that's where the cafes are, that's where the action is. There's tons of bars and music venues and wonderful things happening down there. But in the same sense, it's mostly tourists. There's a lot of condos. It's great for people who necessarily don't wanna drive a lot, but guess what? It's really hard to find parking as well. And if you do live down there, you better have some sort of setup with a parking space, otherwise it gets very expensive. And it's not like Asheville necessarily has the infrastructure for you to totally omit having a car. Now, of course, if you live downtown, you could absolutely have no car. You could ride a bike, you could take the bus, but you're still gonna be limited in where you can go. And there's a lot of really nice destinations that are close to Asheville that would be nice to be able to get to. So in one sense, you don't need a car downtown, but in the other sense, you kind of probably still would want one anyway. Now, the vibe of downtown Asheville through the years has had many fluctuations. In the 1980s, there was pretty much nothing downtown. Everything had moved out towards Tunnel Road and the mall area. Downtown was boarded up and there was nothing happening. Nobody wanted to go there at all. Until the early 90s, some planners came in and they said, let's revive this downtown. And they made it and planned it to what it looks like today, which is bustling and full of life. But now in the last couple of years, we're starting to see a little bit of a shift. We have more people who are experiencing homelessness 
that have gathered there. And we don't necessarily have answers quite yet. And it's not like they're just homeless, but they might be on some sort of drugs like meth or something like that, where we're starting to see a little bit more aggression. So it's not like they're just panhandling or trying to get money. They're actually kind of being a little tough out there and it's a different vibe. So if you're out at night, sometimes it's good just to be aware of your surroundings downtown and kind of watch where you are and make sure you're just going from point A to point B and be aware and be sober enough to know what's happening around you. Now, downtown can be a great place to live if you work downtown. Imagine never really having to get in your car unless you wanted to go somewhere else. It's very easy to access nightlife and to be very social. And it's the center of everything Asheville, really. So there's lots of places to hang out, tons of really great coffee shops and tea shops. And like I said, music venues, there's lots to do. There's even the baseball field, which is really close. So you can go to games in the summertime and there's a sports club as well. Number four, Swananoa. Now listen here. Swananoa is a very beautiful place, but completely different than places that have a lot going on. So if you're moving here, you're new to the area, you want to be a little bit more social, you want to have a central area to congregate that might have a main street, you know, like Weaverville or Black Mountain, something like that. Swananoa has no real center gathering spot. What it does have is space and nature and trails and access to the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's gorgeous, but there's no central Swananoa except for like that main thoroughfare of Tunnel Road. So if you're looking to meet people and you're looking to really have a hangout spot, Swananoa might not be the right place for you. Number five, Fletcher, North Carolina. Again, it's right outside of Asheville. It's not far away, but what happens in Fletcher is it's a totally different vibe than Asheville proper. And you start to see these homes that are cookie cutter homes. They all look the same in these planned developments. And one thing that makes Asheville really special is the architecture, but also the rich cultural history that we have. And when you start just with these planned communities where every house looks exactly the same, there's just not a lot of character that goes into that, which is part of the charm of Asheville. Now I can see the benefit to these communities as well. I mean, you move in, you know exactly what you're going to get. You probably have a natural community that's kind of built in there. And so there's sidewalks and there's easy walkable areas and things like that. But in the same sense, you're just not getting a lot of the historic feel that you do in other parts of Asheville. But Fletcher can be a little bit more affordable and you have more countryside out there as well. Now, one of the biggest questions that I get being a realtor in Asheville is about the crime rate. They say, is, is it safe to be in Asheville or not? Now, I can't really necessarily speak to that, but what I can do is I can link some links down below where you can do your own research. There is one link down below that is really useful that will show the different crime rates in the different areas of Asheville that you might find very useful. We help people move to Asheville all the time and we absolutely love it. So if you're considering moving to Asheville, please feel free to reach out via email, text, phone call, whatever's good for you and we'd be glad to help you seamlessly plan your transition into Asheville. We are living in Asheville. So click that subscribe button, hit that little bell so that you can be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Until then, ciao for now.